Imagine standing in the heart of a vast wilderness, surrounded by the majestic beauty of nature and some of the most incredible wildlife on our planet. Welcome to the world of African safaris, a bucket list adventure that promises unforgettable encounters with the wilds. Today, we're exploring the 12 best African safaris, each offering a unique window into the soul of this fascinating continent. Our journey begins in Namibia's Etosha National Park, a true jewel of Africa and a haven for wildlife enthusiasts and adventure seekers alike. Imagine the vast expanse of the Etosha Pine, a salt pan so large it can be seen from space, serving as the backdrop for one of the most unique wildlife experiences in the world. As you traverse the park, you're invited into a world where the wild roams free, with elephants, lions, rhinos, and a myriad of bird species playing out the timeless dance of nature. Etosha is not just a place, it's a journey into the heart of Africa's untamed beauty. The park's watering holes are like nature's own theater, offering front row seats to witness the drama of survival unfold at dawn and dusk. It's here that you can watch the delicate balance of life in a landscape that ranges from dry savanna to dense bushland. For those eager to explore Etosha, the park offers a range of accommodations. From camping sites that let you sleep under the stars to luxurious lodges that provide a serene oasis in the wilds. Guided game drives and self-drive safaris are popular ways to explore each offering a different perspective of the park's vast biodiversity. Whether it's the thrill of spotting a leopard in the bush, the joy of watching a herd of elephants at a watering hole, or the awe of gazing out over the endless salt pan, Etosha National Park promises an adventure that speaks directly to the soul of those who seek the wild. Traveling to Etosha National Park is an adventure that requires both excitement and preparation. Here's what you should know to make your journey into this wildlife sanctuary unforgettable. Best time to visit dry season, May to October. This is the ideal time for wildlife viewing. Animals congregate around water holes, making them easier to spot. The weather is cooler and more comfortable for exploring. Wet season, November to April. The park comes alive with lush greenery and it's a fantastic time for bird watching as migratory birds arrive. However, wildlife is more dispersed due to abundant water sources. Getting there and around by air. The closest major airport is in Windhoek, the capital of Namibia. From there, you can rent a car or join a guided tour to Etosha, self-drive safaris. Many visitors choose to drive themselves around the park. It offers flexibility and a personal encounter with the wild. Make sure you have a reliable vehicle suitable for gravel roads. Guided tours. For those preferring not to drive, guided tours offer the expertise of local guides who know the best spots for wildlife viewing. Accommodations. Inside the park, there are several rest camps with options ranging from camping sites to comfortable lodges. Booking well in advance is crucial, especially during the dry season. Outside the park, numerous lodges and guest houses cater to different budgets and preferences. Wildlife and Safety Etosha is home to a rich array of wildlife, including the Big Five. Always keep a safe distance from animals, especially elephants, rhinos, and lions. Stay inside your vehicle during game drives, except in designated areas. Follow the park rules and speed limits to ensure both your safety and that of the wildlife. Conservation and respect. Etosha is a protected area focusing on conservation. Visitors are encouraged to respect the environment by not littering and minimizing disturbance to the animals. Support local conservation efforts by respecting guidelines and considering contributions to wildlife organizations. Practical tips. Entrance fees. Be prepared to pay a daily conservation fee upon entering the park. Rest camps in the park offer facilities like fuel stations, shops, and swimming pools. 
it's advisable to stock up on necessities. Communication, mobile reception can be limited. Plan accordingly and inform someone of your travel itinerary, photography and etiquette. Early morning and late afternoon offer the best light for photography. Keep noise to a minimum to avoid disturbing the wildlife and other visitors. Embarking on a journey to Etosha National Park is not just a trip, it's an immersion into the heart of Africa's wilderness. Prepare to be moved by the beauty of the natural world and the incredible wildlife encounters that await. The main rest camps, Okokuejo, Halale, and Namutoni, have restaurants and shops to purchase food and drinks. Options may be limited, self-catering. Plan to bring your groceries if you're staying in self-catering accommodation or camping. Facilities for cooking and refrigerating food are available at the camps. The cost of a trip to Itosha National Park can vary widely for a budget option Expect to spend approximately $500 to $700 a week. For a mid-range option, expect to spend approximately $1,500 to $2,500 for a week. For a luxury option, expect to spend approximately $3,000 to $5,000 for a week. Next, we venture to Zimbabwe's Hwange National Park. The majestic Hwange National Park Zimbabwe's largest national reserve, a place where adventure whispers through the trees and the wildlife roams as freely as the breeze. Imagine stepping into a vast expanse where the horizon stretches into an endless tapestry of nature's finest artwork. Hwange is not just a park, it's a vibrant ecosystem, home to one of Africa's most diverse assortments of wildlife. This park is a sanctuary for over a hundred mammal species, including the big five, lions, leopards, rhinos, elephants, and buffaloes. But it's the elephants that are the true stars of Huangi. The park boasts one of the largest elephant populations in the world, offering visitors an unparalleled chance to witness these majestic creatures in their natural habitat. Beyond the elephants, Wangi's plains are a stage for the dramatic interplay of predator and prey. Cheetahs, lions, and hyenas thread through the savanna grasses, while overhead, a ballet of bird species, numbering over 400, adds a splash of color to the sky. Venturing through Wangi, you'll discover a landscape that shifts from semi-desert sands and sparse woodland to lush forests and grasslands dotted with water holes. These water holes are the beating heart of the park, especially in the dry season, drawing animals from far and wide, setting the scene for breathtaking wildlife encounters. Whether you're traversing the park in a guided safari vehicle, exploring remote corners on a walking safari, or spending a night under the stars in one of the many lodges or campsites, Huanga National Park offers an authentic wilderness experience. It's a place where nature's untamed beauty invites you to pause, look closer, and connect with the earth in a way that's both profound and personal. Here's what every intrepid traveler should know to navigate this adventure with grace and ease, safety and security. The wild's beauty comes with its rules. Always respect wildlife, maintain a safe distance, especially from the elephants and predators. Please follow the park guidelines and your guide's instructions. 
The area is generally safe for tourists, but like any travel destination, keep your belongings secure and stay informed about local conditions. Weather and packing. Huangi's climate is a tale of two seasons, dry April to October and wet November to March. Pack layers for the dry, cooler months as mornings can be chilly. The wet season brings warmth and afternoon showers, so lightweight, breathable clothing and a waterproof jacket are essential. A trip to Huanga National Park in Zimbabwe can cost from $400 to $6,000 for a week, depending on the choice between budget, mid-range, or luxury travel options. Budget travelers spending $400 to $600 might camp and self-drive, while those choosing mid-range options at $1,400 to $2,600 can stay in standard lodges with guided safaris. Luxury travelers can expect to spend $3,000 to $6,000 for stays in luxury lodges with private safaris and all-inclusive amenities. Costs vary with travel style, accommodation, activities, and season, with luxury packages providing more predictable expenses. In South Africa, the Kruger National Park awaits. It is a true jewel of South Africa, where adventure awaits at every turn, encompassing nearly 2 million hectares of unrivaled diversity of life forms fused with historical and archaeological sites. This national treasure offers a wildlife experience that ranks among the best in Africa. Imagine yourself on a safari at dawn, the air fresh and cool as you set out in search of the big five, lions, leopards, rhinos, elephants, and buffaloes. The park is also home to hundreds of other mammals and over 500 bird species, making it a paradise for wildlife enthusiasts and bird watchers alike. But Kruger is not just about animal sightings. It's about immersing yourself in the heart of the wild, feeling the essence of the African bush and learning about the ecosystems and ancient history of the land. You can explore the park through guided walks, game drives, and even overnight stays in bush camps for an unforgettable experience under the African stars. For those seeking a deeper connection with nature and culture, Kruger National Park also offers cultural heritage sites including rock paintings and archaeological sites that tell the stories of the people who once roamed these lands. Weather and packing. Summers, October to March, are hot and rainy, perfect for lush landscapes, but pack light, breathable clothing and rain gear. Winters, April to September, offer cooler, drier days, ideal for animal sightings bring warm layers for chilly mornings and evenings. The park has rest camps, restaurants, and shops for basics and refreshments. Packing snacks and water for game drives is wise, especially in remote areas. Some prefer self-catering, using camp kitchens, and embracing the South African way of dining under the stars. Accommodations. From the rustic to the refined, Kruger offers a range of stay options. Choose from tented camps, cottages, safari lodges, and luxury accommodations. You'll need to book in advance, especially during peak seasons, to secure your spot in the heart of the wilderness. Getting there. The park is accessible by car from major South African cities. The drive from Johannesburg takes about five hours to the nearest gate. Alternatively, flights to nearby airports with a short drive or shuttle service can bring you to the park's doorstep. Practical tips. Early mornings and late afternoons are golden hours for wildlife sightings. Renting a car offers flexibility for self-driven safaris at your own pace. Remember, no matter how tempting, feeding animals is prohibited. Lastly, embrace the silence and vastness of the African bush. It's where the magic of Kruger truly unfolds. With these navigational stars to guide you, your journey to Kruger National Park promises to be as seamless as it is enchanting. Visiting Kruger National Park in South Africa can cost between $500 and $7,000 for a week, 
depending on whether you opt for a budget mid-range or luxury experience. Budget options ranging from $500 to $800 include camping and self-driving. Mid-range visits cost $1,500 to $2,500, featuring stays in standard rest camps or lodges with possible guided safari tours. Luxury experiences costing $3,500 to $7,000 provide all-inclusive stays in luxury lodges, including private guided safaris. Prices vary by season, accommodation choice, activities, and personal spending, with luxury lodges offering a more predictable price despite the premium cost. Shifting gears to the mystical Bwindi Impenetrable National Park in Uganda, the park offers an extraordinary adventure that whispers tales of the ancient and the wild. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a sanctuary for half of the world's remaining mountain gorillas, making it the premier destination for gorilla trekking, an experience that transcends the ordinary and touches the soul. As you meander through its mist-shrouded forests, you're not just walking through a biodiversity hotspot home to numerous species of birds, butterflies, and plants, but stepping back in time. The dense foliage and rugged landscape have preserved a world where nature reigns supreme. What to know? Trekking to see the gorillas. The crown jewel of Bwindi is the opportunity to observe mountain gorillas in their natural habitats. Trekking permits are required and should be booked well in advance due to limited availability. The trek can be physically demanding, navigating through dense vegetation and varying terrain, but the reward of coming face to face with these gentle giants is unparalleled. Weather and packing. Given its rainforest climate, Bwindi's weather is predominantly cool and wet. Waterproof clothing, hiking boots with good grip, and long-sleeved shirts to protect against nettles are essential. Also, consider a hat gardening gloves for grasping vegetation and layers to adapt to the changing conditions. Accommodations. From eco-friendly camps to luxury lodges, Bwindi offers a range of accommodations to suit different preferences and budgets. Many are near the park's entrances, providing easy access to gorilla trekking starting points, safety and guidelines. When in the presence of gorillas, it's crucial to follow the guide's instructions, maintain a seven meter distance from them, and avoid flash photography. The park is generally safe, but it's wise to take precautions against mosquitoes and other insects. Cultural experiences. Beyond the gorillas, Bwindi offers a chance to connect with the local communities, participate in cultural performances and community walks or visit a traditional healer to gain insight into the lives of the people who share their land with these majestic primates. Getting there. Bwindi can be reached by road from Kampala, Uganda's capital, though the journey is long, about eight to 10 hours. Alternatively, domestic flights are available to nearby airstrips, followed by a road transfer to the park. Practical tips. Charge your camera batteries, as electricity in remote areas can be scarce. Carry enough water and snacks for the trek. Lastly, hiring a local porter not only provides assistance during your hike, but also supports the local economy. Embarking on a journey to Bwindi Impenetrable National Park is to venture into a world where nature, wildlife, and culture converge in a tapestry of life that thrums with the heartbeat of Africa. A trip to Bwindi can cost between $800 to $4,200 for a three to four day visit, primarily influenced by the choice of accommodation and the $700 gorilla trekking permit per person. Budget options, including basic lodging and shared transport, may run from $800 to $1,000. Mid-range trips cost about $1,400 to $2,200 with better accommodations and private transport. Luxury experiences range from $2,500 to $4,200, offering premium lodges and potentially internal flights. Costs vary based on additional activities, personal preferences, and specific travel arrangements, with the gorilla permit being a crucial fixed expense. 
early booking is recommended due to limited permit availability. The Maasai Mara National Reserve, a name that resonates with the spirit of adventure and the heart of the wild, is Kenya's crown jewel of wildlife viewing. This vast expanse of grassland and savanna is synonymous with the Great Migration, an annual spectacle where millions of wildebeest, zebra, and gazelle traverse its plains in a timeless journey in pursuit of new pastures, followed closely by predators in an epic display of survival. Witnessing the Great Migration is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, best seen between July and October. This natural phenomenon creates dramatic river crossings and intense predator-prey interactions, painting the quintessential African safari scene. Beyond the migration, the Maasai Mara is a sanctuary for Africa's big five, lion, elephant, leopard, buffalo, and rhinoceros, and a diversity of other wildlife. Its commitment to conservation is evident in the coexistence of the Maasai people with nature, preserving a way of life alongside the wild. Weather and packing. The Mara enjoys a moderate climate, but mornings and evenings can be cool, especially in a moving vehicle. Pack layers, including a warm jacket for early game drives, as well as sun protection, binoculars, and a camera to capture the breathtaking landscapes and wildlife encounters. Accommodations. Options range from mobile camps that follow the migration to permanent luxury lodges offering unparalleled comfort in the wild. Staying in a Maasai-owned conservancy offers a more intimate wildlife experience while supporting local communities. Safety and guidelines. The Maasai Mara is a relatively safe destination and knowledgeable guides ensure visitor and wildlife safety. Respect wildlife by maintaining a distance and following the camp's guidelines for walking or night drives. Cultural experiences. Engaging with the Maasai culture adds a rich layer to your safari experience. Many conservancies offer village visits where you can learn about Maasai traditions, dances, and their symbiotic relationship with the land. The reserve is accessible from Nairobi by road or by air, with scheduled flights to various airstrips within the Mara, offering a quicker and scenic route into the heart of the wild. Practical tips, given the remote locations, consider travel insurance that covers medical evacuation. Use a dust-proof bag for your camera gear, as the drives can be dusty. Staying hydrated is key so always have water on hand during drives. Venturing into the Maasai Mara is to immerse yourself in the heart of the wilderness, where nature unfolds in its most primal form. Each day brings a new story, a different adventure waiting just over the horizon. Visiting the Maasai Mara National Reserve in Kenya can cost between $500 and $4,000 plus for a short three to four day trip depending on whether you choose a budget, mid-range, or luxury travel style. Budget travelers may spend $500 to $800 for basic lodging or camping, shared safaris, and self-catered meals. Mid-range options cost $1,200 to $2,000, offering comfortable lodges or tented camps, often with food included. Luxury trips can exceed $2,500 to $4,000, featuring premium accommodations possibly with park fees and gourmet meals included, and options for private or air transport. Costs vary with seasonality and additional activities like hot air balloon rides or cultural tours, especially during the Great Migration peak season. Venture into the vastness of Serengeti National Park, a name that conjures images of endless plains and the stage for one of nature's most breathtaking performances the Great Migration. This iconic Tanzanian landscape is a world heritage site celebrated for its diverse ecosystems and as a sanctuary for an incredible array of wildlife. What to know? The Great Migration. Here too, you will witness the awe-inspiring spectacle of the Great Migration. The Serengeti's annual migration, 
particularly the dramatic river crossings, is a testament to the unforgiving yet majestic cycle of life, wildlife, and biodiversity. Beyond the migration, the Serengeti is a year-round haven for wildlife enthusiasts, home to the big five, lion, leopard, elephant, buffalo, rhino, along with cheetahs, hyenas, giraffes, and a myriad of bird species, ensuring every safari is an adventure waiting to unfold. Weather and packing. The Serengeti experiences two main seasons, dry June to October and wet November to May. For the dry season, pack light clothing for daytime and warmer layers for cool mornings and evenings. During the wet season, waterproof clothing is essential. Don't forget your binoculars, camera, sunscreen, and insect repellent accommodations. Whether you seek the thrill of a tented camp under the stars or the comfort of a luxury lodge, the Serengeti offers a range of accommodations. Many are strategically located to offer the best views of wildlife and the great migration, providing an immersive experience in the heart of the wilderness. Conservation efforts. The Serengeti is a testament to conservation success, preserving its inhabitants' natural habitat. Visitors play a vital role in supporting these efforts through eco-friendly practices and respecting park regulations. Safety and guidelines. The Serengeti is a wild and natural environment. Following your guide's instructions, keeping a safe distance from animals, and staying in your vehicle unless in designated areas are critical for your safety and the well-being of the wildlife. Getting there. The park is accessible via road or air. Flights from Arusha, Dar es Salaam, or Zanzibar to one of the Serengeti's airstrips are the most convenient way to arrive. Road trips offer a more adventurous route, revealing the beauty of Tanzania's landscapes along the way. Practical tips. Early morning and late afternoon game drives provide the best wildlife viewing opportunities. A good guide can enhance your experience with insights into the ecosystems and animal behaviors. Lastly, embrace nature's unpredictability. Every safari in the Serengeti is unique. The Serengeti National Park is not just a destination. It's an invitation to witness the profound beauty and raw power of the natural world. It's a place where each sunrise brings new stories and every sunset leaves a lasting imprint on the soul. A trip to Serengeti National Park in Tanzania can range from $500 to $6,000 plus for a three to four day journey influenced by the choice of a budget, mid-range or luxury travel experience. Budget trips cost around $500 to $800, including basic lodging or camping, shared safari transport, and self-managed meals. Mid-range experiences at $1,400 to $2,500 offer more comfortable accommodations with food often included in private vehicle transport. Luxury visits can exceed $3,000 to $6,000, featuring premium lodges or tented camps all-inclusive meals, and options for private transportation or internal flights. Costs vary with the season, booking timing, and additional activities like hot air balloon safaris with the high season and extra expenses potentially increasing the overall budget. The Okavango Delta in Botswana is a water wonderland unlike any other. This lush oasis in the middle of the desert is best explored by Mokoro, a traditional canoe. Here, the waterways are alive with colorful bird life, hippos and elephants bathing in the clear waters. This vast inland delta is a miracle of nature, where floodwaters from the Angolan highlands meander down, spreading out to form a labyrinth of lagoons, channels and islands. This unique ecosystem a UNESCO World Heritage Site offers a safari experience unlike any other, where the rhythms of the water dictate the ebb and flow of life. What to know? A water-based safari. The Okavango Delta is renowned for its Mokoro dugout canoe safaris, allowing you to glide silently through the waterways. 
coming face to face with elephants bathing, hippos submerging, and a myriad of birds. It's a tranquil and intimate way to experience the Delta's wildlife, wildlife and conservation. The Delta is a sanctuary for an incredible diversity of animals, including the Big Five, numerous antelope species, and over 400 bird species. It's a conservation success story, balancing human presence with the preservation of nature, weather, and packing. The Delta's climate is characterized by hot, wet summers, November to April, and mild, dry winters, May to October. Packing should include lightweight, breathable clothing for the day, warm layers for cool mornings and evenings, waterproof gear for the wet season, and essentials like binoculars, a camera, insect repellent, and sun protection. Accommodations. From rustic bush camps to luxury lodges, the Okavango Delta offers accommodations for a range of tastes and budgets. Many are located on private concessions, offering exclusive safari experiences with fewer crowds. Activities. In addition to Mokoro safaris, the Delta offers game drives, walking safaris, bird watching, and fishing. Night drives in private concessions provide a glimpse into the nocturnal activities of the Delta's inhabitants, safety, and guidelines. While the Delta is a peaceful retreat, respecting its wild inhabitants is essential. Always follow your guide's instructions, keep a safe distance from wildlife, and do not venture out alone at night. Getting there. Access to the Okavango Delta is typically through Maun, Botswana's tourism capital. From Maun, light aircraft transfers to airstrips near lodges or camps are common, offering a bird's eye view of this extraordinary landscape. Practical tips. Staying hydrated is key in the African heat so always carry water. Electrical outlets can be scarce in remote areas, so consider bringing extra batteries or a solar charger. Embrace the slower pace of Delta life. It's a place to disconnect from the world and immerse yourself in nature. The Okavango Delta invites you to a world where the wild thrives, a testament to the delicate balance of ecosystems. It's a place where each moment on the water reveals the heart-stopping beauty of our planet in its most natural state. Visiting the Okavango Delta in Botswana can cost between $600 and $8,000 plus for a three to four day trip, depending on whether you opt for budget, mid-range, or luxury accommodations. Budget experiences costing $600 to $1,000 include camping or budget lodges, with additional costs for activities and shared transport. Mid-range trips range from $1,500 to $3,000, offering better lodges that might include some activities and options for private or shared charter flights. Luxury experiences start from $3,500, potentially exceeding $8,000 for all-inclusive stays at high-end lodges, encompassing private activities and charter flights prices fluctuate with the season, with the dry May to October period being the peak wildlife viewing time and thus more expensive. Costs are also influenced by how far in advance you book, with last minute plans often carrying a premium. Mana Pools National Park, a world heritage site nestled in the heart of Zimbabwe along the mighty Zambezi River, is a haven for adventurers seeking a more intimate connection with nature. The name Mana means four in Shona, referring to the four large pools formed by the river as it meanders through the park. These pools are the lifeblood of the region, attracting a rich tapestry of wildlife and providing some of the most stunning water-based wildlife viewing opportunities in Africa. Imagine embarking on a journey to an untouched wilderness where elephants, hippos, and crocodiles are regular sights. Mana Pools is renowned for its walking safaris, which allow you to explore the landscape on foot under the guidance of experienced rangers. This up-close approach offers a unique perspective of the bush from tracking animals by their footprints to encountering them face-to-face, -face, albeit at a safe distance. 
The park's landscape is a picturesque blend of riparian forests, flat plains, and the backdrop of the Zambezi escarpment. The area is also a bird watcher's paradise, with over 350 bird species recorded, making it a vibrant spot for ornithologists and casual bird lovers alike. One of the most magical times to visit Mana Pools is during the dry season. April to October, when animals congregate around the shrinking water sources, making wildlife sightings more frequent and dramatic. Canoe safaris are another highlight, offering serene and thrilling encounters with wildlife from the water, a perspective you won't soon forget. Mana pools also allows for a more rugged, self-sufficient style of travel with facilities for camping under the stars, providing a truly immersive experience. Whether you're navigating the park by canoe, on foot, or in a 4x4, Mana Pools invites you to disconnect from the modern world and engage deeply with the wild. Safety and security. When on foot, especially during walking safaris, stay close to your guide and never approach wildlife, no matter how calm they appear. Please remember your surroundings, especially near water where crocodiles and hippos are present weather and packing. The weather in Mana Pools varies from warm to hot throughout the year, with October being the hottest month. The rainy season is from November to March, which can bring sudden downpours and thicker vegetation. Pack lightweight, breathable clothing, a waterproof jacket, and good hiking shoes. Don't forget sun protection, including a hat and sunscreen, and bring insect repellent to ward off mosquitoes. Food and drink. Dining options within the park are limited mainly to what's available at camps and lodges where meals are typically included in your stay. I think it's best to bring extra snacks and plenty of water, especially when embarking on longer excursions or walks. Inform your accommodation of any dietary restrictions well in advance. Accommodations. Accommodation in Mana Pools ranges from tented camps to more luxurious safari lodges. Options may be more rustic than popular safari destinations, emphasizing a closer to nature experience. Please book well in advance, especially if planning to visit during the peak dry season, June to October, when wildlife viewing is at its best. Getting the Mana Pools is accessible by road and air. The drive from Harare takes about six hours on roads that can be rough and challenging, especially in a regular vehicle so a 4x4 is recommended. Alternatively, charter flights are available from Harare to airstrips near the park, offering a quicker and more comfortable journey. For a budget trip, expect to spend $300 to $600 for three to four days, including camping, park fees, a rental car, and food. A mid-range trip may cost $1,100 to $2,200, with mid-range safari tents or lodges, guided activities, shared transfers, and meals included. A luxury trip can range from $2,500 to $4,200, featuring luxury lodges, charter flights, and all-inclusive services. These estimates provide a general overview, with costs influenced by the season and additional expenses like tips and souvenirs. Moremi Game Reserve, snuggled in the heart of the Okavango Delta in Botswana, is a true jewel of the wilderness, offering some of the most stunning wildlife and natural landscapes in Africa. This protected area, named after Chief Moremi of the Batawana tribe, spans a diverse range of habitats, from dry areas to wetlands, making it a uniquely rich environment for animals and plants. The reserve is celebrated for its incredible biodiversity. It hosts an impressive array of wildlife, including large populations of water-loving animals like hippos and crocodiles, as well as dryland species such as lions, leopards, and cheetahs. Bird life is prolific too, with over 500 species, making it a paradise for bird watchers. One of the most extraordinary aspects of Moremi is its landscape, which is dominated by the seasonal flooding of the Okavango Delta. The waters typically rise around April and recede in October, transforming the land with a dynamic ebb and flow that dictates the rhythm of life in the reserve. This seasonal change offers visitors a unique spectacle. 
where the floodplains come alive with migratory birds and animals taking advantage of the abundant water, safari experiences in Moremi are varied, ranging from traditional game drives to Mokoro dugout canoe trips that allow you to glide silently through the waterways. These trips offer close encounters with aquatic life and quieter, more intimate observations of the landscape. The reserve also allows for guided walking safaris, providing an up-close and personal experience with the African bush, guided by experienced locals who share their knowledge of the ecosystems and wildlife behavior. Morimi is not just a haven for wildlife enthusiasts, it's a place where you can immerse yourself in the raw beauty of nature, experience the tranquility of the untouched environment, and witness the interplay of life in one of the planet's most extraordinary ecosystems. Safety and security. In Moremi Game Reserve, your safety revolves around respecting wildlife and adhering to guidelines. Always stay in your vehicle during game drives unless a guide accompanies you during designated stops or walks. Weather and packing. The weather in Moremi can be divided into the wet season, November to March, and the dry season, April to October with the latter being the best time for wildlife viewing as animals gather around water sources. Pack lightweight, breathable clothing for the daytime and warmer layers for cooler mornings and evenings. Waterproof clothing is essential for the wet season. Don't forget a hat, sunscreen, insect repellent, and sturdy walking shoes. Food and drink. Dining options within Moremi are primarily at lodges and camps where you'll be staying. These usually provide all meals, which are included in the accommodation packages. If you're camping or heading out for full day excursions, bring sufficient water and snacks. Please always make sure to clear dietary restrictions with your accommodation in advance. Accommodations. Moremi offers accommodations ranging from luxury lodges to basic campsites with something to suit various budgets and preferences. However, campsite facilities might be minimal, so if you don't stay in a lodge, prepare for a rustic experience. Book accommodations well in advance, especially during the high season, July to October. Getting there. Moremi is accessible by road from Maun, the nearest major town, which takes about two to three hours. The roads are rugged and the 4x4 vehicle is essential for navigating them, especially during the wet season. Alternatively, chartered flights into one of the reserve's airstrips are available for those preferring a quicker, albeit more expensive, entry. Practical tips. Connectivity can be limited, so prepare for limited access to cellular networks and Wi-Fi. Bringing a good pair of binoculars and a camera with a zoom lens will enhance your experience allowing you to view and capture wildlife from a safe distance. Lastly, please always listen to your guide's advice and instructions to ensure a safe and enjoyable trip. Equipped with these tips, you're ready to explore the wonders of Moremi Game Reserve. Trip to Moremi Game Reserve in Botswana, known for its diverse ecosystems and excellent wildlife viewing, involves costs that vary significantly by travel style. For a budget trip, Expect to spend $400 to $800 for three to four days, including camping, park fees, a rental car, and food. A mid-range trip may cost $1,500 to $3,000, with mid-range lodges or tented camps, guided activities, and meals included. A luxury trip can range from $3,500 to $6,000 featuring luxury lodges, private charter flights, and all-inclusive services. These estimates provide a broad idea of potential costs, with prices influenced by the season and additional expenses like tips, souvenirs, and special activities like scenic flights. The Ngorongoro Crater is a geological marvel and a true sanctuary of wildlife nestled in the heart of Tanzania. This breathtaking natural wonder, often described as the Garden of Eden of Africa, is the world's largest intact volcanic caldera and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Formed when a giant volcano exploded and collapsed on itself two to three million years ago, the crater is approximately 610 meters deep and its floor covers about 260 square kilometers. Stepping into the Ngorongoro crater feels like entering a lost world. Surrounded by steep walls rising 600 meters from the crater floor, 
This unique ecosystem has a dense concentration of wildlife, making it one of the most sought after safari destinations in the world. Here, you can witness a spectacle of animals coexisting within the confined space of the crater walls. The crater is home to an estimated 25,000 animals, including the big five, elephants, lions, leopards, rhinoceros, and buffalo. It's one of the few places on earth where you have a high chance of seeing the endangered black rhino in the wild. The diverse habitats within the crater, including grasslands, swamps, forests, and Lake Magadi, a large alkaline lake in the southwest of the crater, support a variety of wildlife and stunning bird life, making it a paradise for nature lovers. The Ngorongoro crater is not just about animal sightings, it's about experiencing the pulse of the wild, the unscripted dramas of nature, and the serene beauty of a prehistoric landscape unchanged by time. Whether you're watching a pride of lions lounging in the sun, tracking rhinos across the open grassland, or simply soaking in the panoramic views from the crater rim, a visit to Ngorongoro is an awe-inspiring experience that resonates deeply and lingers long in your memory. Safety and security. Ngorongoro Crater is a safe destination with well-regulated wildlife tours. However, it's important to follow all safety guidelines your tour guide provides, especially during game drives and while at lodges. Weather and packing. Due to its high elevation, the weather in Ngorongoro Crater can be chilly in the mornings and evenings, so packing layered clothing is advisable. Daytime temperatures are generally pleasant but can be warm. Include a hat, sunscreen, and sunglasses to protect against the sun. Sturdy shoes are a must if you plan to partake in any walking tours. Food and drink. Dining options within the park are primarily found at lodges and camps where you'll be staying, and meals are usually included in your accommodation package. Bringing water and snacks for long game drives is a good idea. Make your dietary preferences or restrictions known to your accommodation in advance. Accommodations. The Ngorongoro Conservation Area offers a range of accommodation options from luxury lodges on the crater rim providing spectacular views to more modest campsites within the conservation area. Booking in advance is crucial, especially during the peak tourism seasons, June to September and December to February. Getting there. The Ngorongoro Crater is most commonly accessed from Arusha, Tanzania, and the drive takes approximately three to five hours. You can rent a vehicle, though a 4x4 is recommended, or you can arrange a transfer through your tour operator. Some visitors fly into nearby airstrips via chartered or scheduled flights from major cities like Dar es Salaam or Nairobi. Practical tips. Mobile reception can be spotty in the crater, so prepare for limited connectivity. Carry cash in Tanzanian shillings for small purchases or tips, as ATM access is limited. Remember to bring binoculars for a better view of wildlife and a camera with a good zoom lens to capture the magnificent landscapes and animal interactions. With these insights, you're better prepared to explore the wondrous Ngorongoro Crater. A trip to the Ngorongoro Crater in Tanzania, renowned for its stunning geological beauty and dense wildlife population, can vary in cost depending on the level of luxury and the type of experience desired. For a budget trip, expect to spend $400 to $600 for two to three days, including camping or budget lodges, crater service fees, conservation fees, shared safari transport, and food. A mid-range trip may cost $1,200 to $1,800, including mid-range lodges, private safari vehicles, and meals. A luxury trip can range from $3,000 to $4,500, featuring luxury lodges, private transport options, and all-inclusive services. These estimates provide a general idea of the costs associated with a trip to Ngorongoro Crater, with prices varying based on the season and additional expenses like tips, souvenirs, and optional activities. South Luangwa National Park, often hailed as one of the greatest wildlife sanctuary in the world, lies at the end of the Great Rift Valley in the eastern part of Zambia. This park is not just a destination, 
it's an intense showcase of African wildlife and untouched natural beauty, all centered around the meandering Luangwa River. The park is renowned for its pioneering walking safari, offering visitors an unparalleled opportunity to experience the African wilderness on foot, led by expert local guides. This immersive approach brings you closer to the ecosystem, where every sound, scent, and sight is heightened. South Luangwa hosts a wide variety of wildlife. It's famous for its leopard and hippo populations, with over 60 animal species and more than 400 bird species inhabiting the park. The Luangwa River is densely populated with hippos and crocodiles and acts as a lifeline for the park's animals, especially during the dry season when it becomes the primary water source. The changing seasons add another layer of drama to South Luangwa. In the wet season, December to April, the landscape transforms into a lush, blooming paradise which can make wildlife harder to spot but offers spectacular bird watching and scenic photography opportunities. The dry season, May to October, consolidates the wildlife around shrinking water sources, making it an ideal time for wildlife viewing. Night drives are another highlight of South Luangwa, offering a chance to see nocturnal creatures and witness predatory behaviors that are rarely observed during the day. The ethereal beauty of the park under the stars, accompanied by the sounds of the African night, makes for a truly magical experience. Safety and security, South Luangwa National Park is generally safe for visitors, but it's crucial to follow park regulations and guidelines, particularly on guided walks and night drives. Always listen to your guide as they are trained to handle encounters with wildlife safely. Never wander outside designated safe areas, especially at night, and always keep a respectful distance from wild animals. Weather and packing. The park experiences a distinct wet and dry season. The dry season, May to October, is ideal for wildlife viewing, with warm days and cooler nights. Pack lightweight clothes for the day and warm layers for the evening. The wet season, November to April, transforms the park into a lush landscape perfect for bird watching. Waterproof clothing and sturdy water resistant footwear are essential. Don't forget to bring a hat, sunscreen and insect repellent, food and drink. Dining options are mainly available through the lodges and camps where you'll be staying, with most providing meals inclusive of your accommodation package. It's wise to carry your own water during excursions, and if you have specific dietary needs, inform your accommodation providers in advance accommodations. South Luangwa offers a range of accommodations, from luxury safari lodges to more rustic tented camps and seasonal bush camps that operate during the dry season. Facilities can vary greatly depending on your choice, so you can research beforehand to find what works best for your preferences and budget. Getting there. The most common way to reach South Luangwa is by flying into Mfuwe International Airport which is well connected to major cities like Lusaka and sometimes Lilongwe in Malawi. It's a short drive from the airport to the park, with most lodges offering transfer services. Practical tips. Ensure your camera is equipped with a good zoom to capture wildlife from a distance safely. Extra batteries and memory cards are a must, as charging facilities might be limited, especially in more remote bush camps. Also, you can carry local currency for small purchases or gratuities and be prepared for limited internet access, enhancing your connection with the natural surroundings. With these tips, you're set for a memorable South Luangwa National Park safari. For a budget trip, expect to spend $300 to $600 for three to four days, including budget lodges or camping, park entrance fees, public transport, and food. A mid-range trip may cost $1,000 to $2,000, with mid-range safari lodges, private or organized shuttles, and meals included. A luxury trip can range from $2,500 to $4,500, featuring luxury safari lodges, charter flights, and all-inclusive services. These estimates provide a general idea of the costs for a trip to South Luangwa National Park with prices fluctuating based on the season and additional expenses like tips, souvenirs, and special activities. Like Kipia, 
a high altitude region stretching from the slopes of Mount Kenya to the rim of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya is a mosaic of rugged terrains, lush forests and arid grasslands. This lesser known gem offers a unique safari experience distinguished by its rich biodiversity and successful conservation efforts which have made it a sanctuary for some of Africa's most endangered species. Laikipia is celebrated for its innovative community and private conservancies, which focus on sustainable tourism and wildlife conservation and often involve local communities in their efforts. This approach has led to thriving populations of black rhinos, elephants, the rare gravis zebras, and the big five. The region offers a more exclusive and intimate safari experience compared to its more famous counterparts like the Maasai Mara. Here, you can explore the vast landscapes on game drives, guided bushwalks, and even camel safaris, giving you a unique view of the diverse ecosystems. Laikipia is also a pioneer in offering nighttime game drives, revealing the African wilderness's elusive nocturnal creatures. In addition to wildlife, Laikipia is home to a vibrant mix of cultures including Maasai, Samburu and Kikuyu communities. Many conservancies provide cultural visits allowing you to engage with local communities and learn about their traditional ways of life, adding a rich cultural dimension to your safari experience. Whether you're floating over the savannah in a hot air balloon, tracking rhinos on foot or simply soaking in the breathtaking views from a luxury lodge, Laikipia offers a safari experience that is both adventurous and reflective, leaving you with a deep connection to this extraordinary part of the world. Safety and security. Laikipia is a safe region for travelers, with security managed closely by the conservancies. In rural and remote areas, it's wise to be cautious and respectful of local customs and advice provided by your hosts. Weather and packing due to its elevation. Laikipia experiences a temperate climate. Days can be warm, while nights may get quite cool, especially during the June to August winter period. Packing should include light clothing for the daytime and warmer layers for the evening. Sun protection and a sturdy pair of walking shoes or boots for bushwalks are essential. Waterproof clothing and bags are recommended during the rainy seasons, March to May and November to December. Food and drink. Most accommodation options in Laikipia are lodges or tended camps that offer full board meals and cater to a variety of dietary preferences. Please let your accommodation know of any dietary restrictions in advance. Camp water is often safe to drink, but bottled water is readily available and recommended for day trips. Accommodations The range of accommodations in Laikipia is diverse, from luxurious lodges to eco-friendly camps often situated within wildlife conservancies. Many of these places provide not only a place to stay but also a full safari experience including guided tours and activities. I would recommend early booking, especially during peak travel seasons. Getting there. Laikipia is accessible by road from Nairobi, which can take anywhere from four to six hours depending on your exact destination within the region. Alternatively, several conservancies have airstrips for chartered flights which can be arranged from major cities like Nairobi. This is a quicker but more costly option. Practical tips. Mobile service can be patchy and Wi-Fi is not guaranteed in more remote areas, so prepare for limited internet access. Carrying cash in Kenyan shillings is useful for tipping and small purchases, especially in more remote areas. Be sure to have a good pair of binoculars and a camera with a strong zoom to make the most of wildlife viewing. With these tips, you're ready to explore Laikipia's unique beauty and adventure. For a budget trip, expect to spend $400 to $800 for a 3 to 4 days, including basic accommodation, activities, transport, and food. A mid-range trip may cost $1,200 to $2,000 with more comfortable lodging and some meals included. A luxury trip can range from $3,000 to $5,000, featuring exclusive accommodations, private activities, and charter flights. These estimates cover a range of experiences, with costs influenced by season, 
conservancy fees and personal expenses. Africa's safaris offer more than just wildlife sightings. They provide a profound connection with nature and unforgettable memories. Each destination on our list showcases the incredible beauty and diversity of the continent. So, which of these spectacular safaris will be your next adventure? Let us know in the comments and start planning your journey to the wild heart of Africa. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more travel and adventure tales. Until next time, keep exploring, embracing the magic of life and get out.